Yeah, RP King Vaughn. We're gonna talk about it since they deleted my last page. I gotta redo it. But yeah, that nigga Lil Durk. He was, that nigga, that nigga, well, he was jealous of King Vaughn. That's what that was. He was jealous. So he had to get him killed. He had to get him out of the way. You know how that go. But yeah, though, uh, the dirt snitched on King Vaughn, man. He made a deal. That's why in that courtroom, he seen King Vaughn look at him crazy like, what the fuck? Cause that's why he, he, he made a deal. Not knowing the deal was to get him out of the way. See, they already on King Vaughn because of the FBG duck case. They already on him because of that. But him going to Atlanta, I mean, him going to Atlanta and doing all that, that was like, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, the dirt got him out of the way because he had some secrets on the dirt, King Vaughn. So he had to get him out of the way. That's how that goes. He knew, he knew he couldn't do nothing with um, King Von. He seen his potential, so he had to get him out of the way as an artist. You know, King Von was going way past him. The night that King Von got killed, there's most celebrity there in the cars watching. Yeah, like a big ass show, cause you know, Hollywood, Hollywood ain't nothing, ain't nothing real. Everything fucking fake, so that night when King Von got killed, that's on real shit. It's like a TV show. All them celebrities in the car just watch it. See what about to happen. That's why Lil Booster said, that's fucked up. In that black interview, he was like, it's fucked up. I ain't go, because he knew it's a setup. He knew King Von was going to die that night. Or something bad going to happen to King Von, because you got to think about it. When they get in the shootout, when King Von swing a corner rondo, he gets shot. Why the fuck the police shoot his home his homeboys and not Lil Tim? See, in the real situation, police would have shot all Lil Tim first because he, he the one with the gun. He got shot first. And he, in the video where he been gunning around, they would have killed him. They would have killed him because you still got the gun in your damn hand waving around. They would have shot you and killed you. But they just shoot King Von homeboys over the hip-hop police. Oh, I got you. I got you. I see. I see what it is now. That police are already there to do what he did. Yep. Everybody watch. I won't be. I won't be surprised. I wouldn't say Yumbo was there, but I knew it was most celebrities in the car. Oh, you see all them cars around? It was most celebrities there. They tried to get Booster to watch that shit. Booster said, "Fuck no." But I ain't go. He knew not to go because he knew that bullshit going. Go down, cause Booster connected with NBA Young Boy. NBA Young Boy connected with Cornell Randolph. So you already know what's gonna go down. You gotta think about Mo. Like, when you're in it, like, when you in the industry or you got connections, you in Atlanta like that. So they know more people. People know people. They tell other people. That's why, like, other celebrities don't talk about other celebrities. Because they all did some gay shit. They all signed their soul over. So y'all in the same fucking boat. I know you've been in the rap game this long. You ain't get here just off your rapping talent. You had to do some shit. So that's why they all would go along with that shit. And never expose the other set of celebrities. But yeah, man. So they took King Von out of here. Then, Dirt made black, Back in Blood. He was just know my cousin. I asked all in that wood. That's when King Von said, you know that folk cousin? Man, fuck the mess. But they talking about he want to talk about Crump. It's subliminal the message. That's all that is. Bitch, you know you talking about. You could have been made that song. You could have been made. They just yell. And don't act like you and King Von were getting wrong. Hmm? When you fall out with your nigga, just don't forget to let him go. Yeah, that song. Don't act like y'all wasn't getting along. Like y'all was just on, like you, Agent R2. She wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even see each other no more. Mm-hmm. You got like 10 tattoos of King Von. You look like a guilty soul. 
Who the fuck get, get like 10 tattoos of somebody that died? You gonna do that for your damn family members? That's like you got them, um, what they call the souvenir. I think we don't know. Your ass is a part of that shit too. See, that's why it's so confusing because there's more minds involved. Every time something confusing when you look at it, and there's a lot of loopholes and a lot of shit that you miss. A lot of shit that you ain't know before because there's a lot of minds involved. It ain't just one person. There's a lot of people involved. So, keep on. I, I I won't don't quote me, but I could have seen I could have I could have sworn I seen something when they say he owned his masters. Oh, that's a no no. You ain't finna own your masters. That's a no no. They gonna get you up out of here. And they ain't like he wanna know where he was too real. He went he ain't blunted his head like dirt. She ain't had about like eight little dread. Dirt blunted whole fucking he blunted his whole down here like he white. Well, I'm not a race, I'm just saying. If you black, you have to stay black. I mean, I'd rather do it like blue or a different color. Why would you do it blonde? Because you gay? Do some gay shit? Okay, I got you. Look at all the goddamn celebrity. Y'all got blonde fucking hair most, though. <clears throat> I'm just for the money, huh? Okay, yeah, whatever. But anyway, the autopsy. This is how you know they killed that man. People trying to say that. That's not fake. Ain't shit fake about that picture. The autopsy was a goddamn a reminder or a message to the rest of celebrities who want to go to go the route King Von want to go, want to own his master and don't comply, don't do no gay shit, don't do no sellout shit, and just rap about his life. That's what this shit here gonna happen to you. See what I'm saying? That's all I'll talk to you just an example to, to let the other celebrities stay in line. But it's going to happen to you. That's all that was. That's why they can put it on the goddamn internet like that and post it out to Without nobody going to jail because they masons. That's all. They in that shit. They tied in. See? They like the Kanika shit. That's why that shit all online because they all... Like powerful members and shit, all that shit. What it is? Yo, yeah. hold up. Yeah, like I was saying though. Anyway, so he didn't want to um never like a jump, you know, not do that shit. So then all of a sudden that nigga on um, house, his house get raided or something. He said. <coughs> Somebody just kicked in his door or something. They tried to raid his house. That shit was a lie. That shit was a false flag. Ain't nobody fucking raid that man house. See, when you get, when you, it's too much truth about the King Von shit. So they had to, he had to bring some shit in. Then, if, oh, hold on, hold on. After King Von get killed, his brother get killed. In Chicago. Now, that's real shit. But that's because he was running his damn mouth. Talking that shit, so them boys seen their brother and they got his brother. No, I don't want to come out that booth. You still want to talk that shit, so we just gonna get your brother, cause you still want to, you don't want to shut up. We gonna get your brother out the way, and they never got no get back. People say, oh, he don't supposed to do nothing. He a boss. He the, he the boss man. He don't supposed to be out there shooting and shit. Nigga, that's your damn brother. What the fuck? Are you? you a fucking. I ain't going to say that because I don't get by it. I don't care. But you, your brother? Man, it's smoke. It's smoke. What the fuck are you talking about? My brother? I'm going to be the one that's doing the shooting. It's smoke. What the hell? Come on, man. Just like King Von. They say they got to get back. They ain't going to get back because his killer ain't dead. His killer ain't dead. That was his now, see? I was nice exposing you, man. That man killer ain't dead. You ain't gonna get back. But King Von would got to get back for you. See, everybody, I don't like that fake shit. I don't like that fake shit. If you, I'm just saying, rap about something else, then. You don't, if you ain't gonna do that shit your damn self, because you out here promoting that badass music, then you got kids or people that listen to you that do the shit. 
and you promote it, and you don't do the shit. You like you do drills and everything else, y'all promote as rappers, and you don't do the shit. See the difference between King Von? That was his life. He already did that, so I ain't got no problem with fault him. He can't. I can't fault him for rapping like that's all he know. See what I'm saying? So that's that's good. He can do that because he do that. He don't rap about it and don't do it and got all these millions of people doing violence and shit. And you rapping about it and you ain't doing it. You rich. You rich, but you still talking about dumb shit. Oh, because that means you signed over. So the moral of the story is, because I don't want to do it too long. They killed King Von. Little Dirt, he sacrificed King Von. Because he was jealous and King Von had some secrets on him. By him being, a, I bet by him being a snitch and all that shit, or uh, he did some gay shit, but he down with Illuminati, so he had to get him out of the way. The elites or the people that run the damn music game, they want to see King Von no way. So that night, King Von, we had to go to jail. But doing, if he had like put out a gun and killed somebody, the police are already there. That's why he probably ain't used no gun to think about it, cause he seen the police over there. There are no police over who's finna fight. We ain't finna go to jail. But the other time, it's the hip hop police, and they on the corner running on the side to get you out of the way. So they can use a gun, but King Von can't. See what I'm saying? So, the moral of the story is he was set up by them. There's more celebrities there. And the autopsy, they would just keep everybody in line who don't want to comply. And that's, he's trying to own his mask and all that. So they get you out of the way. That's about it. That's all I'm at.